One of my favorite type of mod in Minecraft is furniture mods, and the reason for that is because we all use furniture every day in our daily lives, and Minecraft doesn't have much furniture at all. It's got beds, and really, that's about it? I mean, sure, there's some different lighting and things like that, but overall, that's not furniture. However, we all build houses in Minecraft, so it would, in a way, make sense that we would have furniture too, or at least wanted. And so because of that, furniture mods were born. And in this video, we're going to show you how to download one of the most important furniture mods and one of the most popular furniture mods out there, Mr. Crayfish's Furniture Mod. Mr. Crayfish being an awesome YouTuber who's made an awesome furniture mod here, and we're going to get it in 1.18.2. First of all, though, we have a our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below at breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Start your very own 24-hour, 7-day-a-week Minecraft server. We love just Apex so much, we host our own server. Play at breakdowncraft.com. Servers on Apex can be public, they can be private, and you can host mods like furniture mods on them and play with your friends using the furniture mod. So, nonetheless, check out Apex, the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to get your server up and running. Thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get our furniture mod set up. First thing you want to do is go to the second link in the description down below. That's going to take you here. This is our in-depth text tutorial for downloading the furniture mod from Mr. Crayfish. And if you want to use this tutorial instead of the video, you're more than welcome to do that. But once you're here, just go ahead and click on the yellow download Mr. Crayfish furniture mod button to be taken to the download page for this mod. Then on the right hand side we want to scroll down till we find the Minecraft 1.18 section and then under that we want to download this version here. Now it might be pre-30, it might be a different version here and that's perfectly normal. We just want to download the one under Minecraft 1.18. Click on that little orange download button and it will take us here where after a few seconds the download will begin. Now you will need to keep this in the bottom left of Google Chrome or save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. It just depends on the browser you're running but it's a hundred percent safe to do that. Now we're not done downloading, we still need to download Forge, and Forge is the mod loader that basically links our furniture mod to Minecraft, right? So it makes these two work together, the furniture mod and Minecraft via Forge. Forge is the modeler that does this, and you can find a link to Forge at the third link in the description down below. Now this is our in-depth guide for Forge, and you can use that if you'd want to, but we're going through the basics in this video. Should you have issues with Forge though, these are usually fixed well, by our tutorial here. Now let's go and click the Download Forge button on this page, and that's going to take us to Forge's official website where we want to make sure 1.18.2 is selected, which it is right here. If it's not for you, you can select it on the left-hand side, and once you do have it selected, come under Download Latest here and click on installer. That's then going to take us off to add focus where stop! Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. The only thing that you want to click on this page is the red skip button that appears after about 10 seconds in the top right. So don't click a single thing on this page whatsoever except the red skip button in the top right. That's the only thing that you want to click. Once you click on that red skip button, in the bottom left, Forge 1.18.2 is going to start downloading. You may need to keep it in the bottom left of Google Chrome or save it in the same of your screen on Firefox or other browsers. Now we can minimize our browser and we want to go ahead and get to our desktop, Mr. Crayfish's Furniture Mod and Forge. To do this, click the little Windows icon, top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen, or center of your screen on Windows 11. And then we want to go ahead and type in Downloads. Have this Downloads file folder here. Open this up, and then we want to drag and drop Forge and Mr. Crayfish's Furniture Mod to the desktop, right like so. Once these are on your desktop, we're going to go ahead and start off with Forge. Now, one thing worth noting is if these icons are broken, that's okay. Let's see if we can open up Forge first, though. Right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. Now, if you don't have Java there, what we need to do is download and install Java 17, because not only will that allow you to open up Forge in general, but it will also fix these icons. In the description down below, we have Java 17. This is required for Minecraft mods, and again, linked in the description down below. Simple three-step guide, as well as an in-depth video tutorial. For most of you, that will allow you to open up Forge. For some of you, though, you need the jar fix. And this is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java. It's also the thing that will finally fix your icons, but you need Java first. So get Java, then run the jar fix, and your icons will be like this. Finally, though, we can right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. This is going to open up the mod system installer for Forge, where we want to make sure that we click the Install Client button here and click OK. So again, mod system installer for Forge is open. It took actually a few seconds. That's where there was a jump cut. So if it does take a second, that's perfectly normal. Click on Install Client, click OK. It's then going to download, install, do everything it needs to do to get Forge added to Minecraft, right? Now, this could take a second. It's going to freeze in random places. It may freeze when it looks like it's done. But the only reason this won't work is if you've never played Minecraft 1.18.2 before. Go play it, come back here, and then boom, successfully installed Client Profile 
profile forge. Once you've done that, go ahead and click OK. And now we can delete forge from our desktop. It's time to install Crayfish's furniture mod. Excuse me, Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click the little Windows icon, open up Minecraft, and then in Minecraft, we want to make sure we're launching Minecraft with a Forge profile. Now, there's kind of two types here. There can be the one that Forge installs by default. For most people, that's going to work, but for probably around 20 to 10% of you, somewhere in there, 10 to 20% of you, it won't work, and you'll need to create your own Forge profile with the Forge version we just installed. Nevertheless, Minecraft is now open, and once we're here, we want to make sure that Forge is selected right like so. Now, if Forge isn't selected, click this little arrow and select it from this list. If Forge isn't on this list or you don't have 1.18.2-Forge here, what do you do? Well, you click on installations up here at the top and make sure mod is checked. As you can see, mod is not checked. Check modded. There's Forge. Click play, click play again. But if you still don't have Forge here or you don't have the right version, 1.18.2-Forge, Click new installation. Now you can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name it play.breakdowncraft.com because that's our incredible 1.18 grief protected survival and skyblock server. If you want an amazing Minecraft survival experience, come play with us at play.breakdowncraft.com. Hundreds of players online every single day. Now let's just go ahead and click on this version drop down box and then we wanna select release 1.18.2 forge here. So go ahead and select forge from this list. You may need to scroll down a ways to find it, but mine's right up here towards the top. This is the most important thing on this page. You wanna make sure that version is 1.18.2 to dash forge. Nevertheless, I'm going to set our resolution so we can see once we get in game and then click create in the bottom right. Now we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile that has 1.18.2 dash forge. Hover over this, click the green play button and click play again. Minecraft's going to open up with forge and guess what? That was the hard part. That was the hardest part of getting Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod. If you have made it to this point, it's so simple and easy from here. It's also worth noting that um, it may take a second to open up. As you can see there, it kind of like froze in the Minecraft launcher for a second. And then now it looks like nothing's happening, but uh, I promise it is, right? Minecraft is opening right now. It's just taking it a second, and that is perfectly normal with modded Minecraft. It's something you kind of need to come to expect with modded Minecraft in a lot of ways. So here we are opening up Minecraft, and once we're on the main menu, it is super simple to install Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod. From the Minecraft main menu to do that, just click on mods, right? So from the main menu here, click on mods, and then click on open mods folder in the bottom left. Again, from the main menu, click on that mods button, and then open mods folder in the bottom left. We then have this mods folder open, where all we need to do is drag and drop Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod right in here. Once you've done that, you want to close out of this, close out of this, and quit Minecraft, because it's not going to work until we restart it. So that's what we're doing. Now let's open up the Minecraft launcher again. Once we're in the Minecraft launcher, we want to make sure that Forge is right here, 1.18.2-Forge, whether that's that version you created or the Forge installation, doesn't matter. Click play, click play again, and now Minecraft is going to open up with Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod, and it may be even slower this time than it was before. That's perfectly normal because Minecraft is now loading mods when it's loading up, not just Forge and Minecraft itself. So if it takes longer, that's perfectly normal, and if it like goes white screen and freezes and all that stuff, that's perfectly normal as well. Just wait it out and eventually Minecraft will open. We'll meet you on the main menu. From the main menu, we can click on mods and there it is, Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod. But I'm sure you want to see some furniture in games. So let me go ahead, create a new world for Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod. And um, I'll go ahead and set up a, uh, a little Ikea sort of, sort of set up there. Um, Let's do it. So there we go. Now it's like an Ikea here. Uh, we've got a few <laughs> different setups. So first off, this is kind of the outdoor setup. As you can see, there is a bench that you can sit on. There's also a mailbox that if you're on a server, you can actually, you know, send mail to, as well as a trampoline, right? And a picket fence that works like that thing. Escape actually closes, but there's a trampoline here, sure enough. Um, also, this is, like I said, really cool. It closes. We've also got this over here. So this is the kitchen. We've got a uh, sink here with an island. All of these drawers open up and can have stuff stored in them. The fridge can also have stuff stored in it as well, as you can see. And then after that, we have our uh, dining room here. And of course, you can sit down at the table. It's quite of a large table. Um, I thought about making it smaller, but anyway, I went with a larger table. And uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. And you can see there's all these different materials that you have. You have stripped oak here. You have, you know, a picket fence here. You have a birch wood bench. You have a jungle wood sort of chair here. I mean, so much different stuff. And then over here, we do have our couch, a living room style area. And then last but not least, we have an office as well. So not the best. I'm not a great interior designer by any means, but I thought it was kind of cool as like an Ikea setup. And uh, now we can use this in future videos as well. So that's what's kind of cool about doing this is it future proofs us. Also, there's uh, these these tables here. And guess what? You can use them for storage as well. But nonetheless, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. My name is Nick. This is how you can get Mr. Frank Crayfish's furniture mod, and I'll see you in the next video.